Hey, Cap. I don't know if you'll get this message or not, but by the time you get back, I'll be gone. I can't stay here. It's nothing personal. It's just... Thanos is after me. I'm the one who stopped his plan. I'm the one who reversed time to save you all. I'm the one he wants to kill. So it's not safe for me here. It's not safe for all of you. So I have to go. I wish I could make promises, but I can't say if I'll return. And if I make it, I'll see you on the other side. I wish you the best of luck. This is Iron Man, out. been two weeks we've been looking for Thanos, and still nothing. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure. Hey, Cap. I don't know if you'll get this message or not, but by the time you get back, I'll be gone. I can't stay here. Thanos is after me. I'm the one who stopped his plan. I'm the one who reversed time to save you all. I'm the one he wants to kill. I'll see you on the other side. This is Iron Man out. I think I can help with that. Who are you? I used to be Fennel, the daughter of Thanos. But after I helped Iron Man save the universe, I am now Stargirl. I can help you stop Thanos once and for all. Okay, um, I guess. Sorry, Iron Man never told me. But who exactly are you? What have you done? You have allowed them idiots to overpower you! I'm sorry, Shadow. You have to understand, my daughter is stronger than I know. It's not good enough! All I asked of you was to wipe out half the population of the universe. Not too much of a biggie! I even gave you the power to do it with! And you failed. I'll just do it again. I can easily use the gauntlet to- No, Thanos. The gauntlet can only be used once to wipe out half the universe. It's the curse of the Infinity Stones. Why? It's complicated, but I'll try my best to explain. The Infinity Stones are all remnants of the toy box. Each stone was devised from an infinite source of power. This. They hold the power of the universe, and once brought together, they can be used only once, to wipe out half of life. Because it draws power from the universe itself to do this, it only has enough juice to do it once. If you do it more than that, the fabric of existence itself would crumble and everything would fall apart. Where did those powers come from? 
from the stars. At the very beginning of existence, the Big Bang caused six elemental crystals to split from each other. And they fell to Earth. Our player was the only one to ever discover them. The toy box master locked them away for good, but when I found out about their power, I had to use them. Use them to correct the mistakes on Earth. There are too many people in existence, so killing half of them would have saved the other half. The toy box master knew what I wanted to do and threw me outside. Outside? Yes, I was alone, desperate, but I survived. And now the outside world is where I remain until I finally got my power and began using it. And that's when I met you. Now I understand. It doesn't matter. You failed. And now I'm left to pick up the pieces. What can I do? What can I do to correct this? Go back in time? Stop Iron Man? No. If you mess around with time too much, it will cause rips in the fabric of reality, shattering the world around you. Also, it would cause too many paradoxes, and you might get stuck in a time loop or something, which would be very bad. No, there's no going back now. There must be something I can do. Well, there is one thing you can do instead. You can find the toy who did this to you and kill him. Make him suffer for what he did to you. Iron Man. Make sure he knows who we are, and the rest of the Toy Box knows who we are as well. The Toy Box Master is dead now, meaning we can take his place. Yes, make a public execution of Iron Man. Put the fear into every toy in this house, and when they bow to our will, we will conquer the house. But we won't stop there. No, we'll conquer every house on this street, every house in this country, every house in the world. The planet will be ours! Yes, I'll find him, and I'll make sure he dies for good this time. So, you see, I helped Iron Man reverse time and save the universe from extinction. Your father must be pretty mad at him then. Yes, that must have been the reason Iron Man left. But now that he has saved you, we need to act, and fast. It won't be long before my father comes looking for him, and you. I know. We need a plan to stop him once and for all. Hey, Cap, I have an idea, if it's all right. Sure, kid. What you got? Well, Thanos still has the gauntlet, right? Meaning he's already more powerful than us. But he thinks Iron Man is still around. Go on. If he's mad at Iron Man, and he thinks he's still here, then we can use it against him, right? Use it to trick him. What if one of us pretends to be Stark and dress up in a suit while the others try to get the gauntlet? Okay, I should have kept quiet. Sorry, guys. You know, I just thought it might work, but it sounds stupid saying it out loud. No. That could work. Oh, really? Yeah. If we can make him think that Iron Man is really there, then we can use it to distract him, while one of us steals the gauntlet from right underneath his nose. Well, it would work, but it would have to be the strongest one of us who gets the gauntlet off of him. I can do it. I'm already nearly as strong as him. Plus, he won't suspect me coming to join the fight. It has to be acted and timed perfectly, though. If we mess this up even just a tiny little bit, then our plan will fall to ashes and we'll lose everything. Don't worry, Captain. 
Me and the Spider-Man will make sure he is busy with us while Stargirl gets ready. We can rehearse it properly beforehand. Okay, but whatever happens, I don't want to lose you all. We need to win this time. There's no other choice. We've been given a second chance here. A second chance to fight and to win. Because we lost. We lost our friends. We lost our family. We lost a part of ourselves. This time, we're not going to let it happen. This is the fight of our lives. One problem. Where are we going to get an Iron Man suit from? We'll build one. Thank you for the very educating tour. Let me get this right. It's just the cats I have to be afraid of, right? <laughs> right. Now, have you got your packed lunch? Yes, Dad. <laughs> you want her back? Do as I say. You messed this up. Now it's time to fix it. Go and find the protectors and kill them. What's up? Nothing. I just... I just care about them. And all the other toys in this house. I don't want Thanos doing the same thing he did before. I, I'm scared we won't be able to stop him. Don't worry about it. This is gonna work, Cap. I know it is. Cause I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. Okay, we're ready. Okay, how are we gonna get him to meet us? I can. I have a telepathic link with him. I it's a Titan thing. Okay. Let's go. Iron Man, you have ruined my life. But don't worry, I'm not going to ruin yours. I'm going to end it. Here we go. Time to end this. Not again. Where's the real Iron Man? Ugh. Stop! Ugh. 
Okay, he's angry. Now's the time. Fennel, are you in position? Yes. Good. Let's do this. There you are. Don't move. Who are you? The name's Ironclad, but Iron Man came to see me. He told me about what happened and I remembered fighting Thanos. He said you guys might need my help. Thanks. It's over. For real this time. As long as this isn't a false reality. <laughs> It's far from over. If I can't kill you, then you can kill each other. No! Kill the spiders. No, Cap, don't do this, man. It's us. Remember us? Find Iron Man and tell him all that you did here. No! You didn't have to kill me, John. This is for Catherine!
got you. No. How could I? No. You deserve this, father. All I wanted was my wife. And to live in peace. Is that too much to ask for? What? Your wife? Look at you. Pathetic. Clearly I'll have to deal with this. You don't realise what you've just done to yourselves. You may be strong, but I am stronger. This is your punishment. A sacrifice for a sacrifice. A life for a life. That's all I wanted. Peace. Half the life in the universe gone to save the other half. It's not too much to ask for. So I will kill your daughter, Thanos, and in return, you will get to live. No, for now. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. Father, help. No. 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 That was your daughter. You let your own daughter go. I know. I'm so sorry, Fernell. There's nothing I can do now. This whole mission was to save her and my wife from death. But all I've done is make it worse. You've had a wife? Yes. Catherine. The love of my life. I promised her I would keep our daughter safe. But it all went wrong. Shadow told me if I wiped out half the universe, they would be safe again. But I became obsessed with it. I was even willing to sacrifice my own daughter. I can never forgive myself for what I've done. Everything I have done was meant to be for my family, nothing else. Your family was threatened by Shadow. I know how that feels. He threatened all the toys when I was Toy Box Master. That's why I had to throw him into the outside world, where no toy has gone before. He was too powerful. Now he has control over one of the Infinity Crystals, and my daughter. So, who is Shadow? He was the toy that caused me to lose my position as Toy Box Master. He was obsessed with the idea that killing half of life would save the other half. He had a rough time as a young toy growing up here, but he soon grew out of control, killing toys all over the house, until I kicked him out in a fight. The toys disagreed with my methods and so I was forced into exile. I laid low, until I heard of a new toy who possessed the power of the Infinity Gauntlet. I knew I had to do something, so I found Black Panther and began recruiting you all. He killed my wife and child, and when I tried to fight back, he gave me the gauntlet and told me if I didn't complete his mission, he would kill them again. I should have known better. No, this isn't your fault. You were forced into it, threatened, blackmailed. You didn't have a choice. You were just doing what you knew you had to do for your family. Any of us would have done that. Please, I know you can't trust me, and you definitely don't like me. But please, you have to save my daughter. She's more important to me than any toy box. Do we do it? This shouldn't be a question. He's a bad guy. Yeah, this is the guy that killed us all. I know, but wouldn't you have all done the same? If you were in his shoes, what would you have done? I know from experience what it's like to be forced into something you don't want to do. To be shut out. To lose everything around you. His world was shattered by shadow, and it broke him. All we can do now is help to fix that. It's up to you, Cap. We will follow your lead. Okay. We'll get your daughter back, and stop Shadow, but on one condition. Anything. You have to leave this house. I'm sorry, I know it's not fair, but my friends are right. You are dangerous, and therefore you shouldn't be around the toy box. That's fair enough. Will I get to see my daughter before I go? Yes. Thank you. Okay, here's the plan. I have spent too long on this to be disappointed now. 
your father failed to do one simple act to save you. Kill half the universe, but he failed. Now, I have to pick up the pieces and retribute myself as toy box master and a player. I will kill you first, and then I will kill all your little friends, and then I'll kill Thanos himself! Wait, so you were in charge of Thanos this entire time? Yes, your father was my puppet, if you like, and I was pulling his strings. Of course, he kept going on about keeping you and Catherine safe, but his goal was always to kill. On your behalf! Oh yes, you think I like to do the dirty work? I had one chance with the Infinity Gauntlet, one chance to use it, that was it, and he ruined it, or rather, you did. So, time to kill you. Iron Man, right on schedule, I've been waiting to kill you for a long time. Shadow, that's enough, it's time to stop, it's time to end this. Not you again, I'll kill you all. going to know exactly how it feels to be thrown out, abandoned and betrayed by everyone you love, just how I felt when you threw me out. No, you are going to stop this and hand yourself in, because you know what will happen if you don't? What? My friend is going to throw you outside again. Huh, what friend? Oh, smash! Daughter, I'm so sorry. I love you, and I messed up. I know. I know about Shadow and how he manipulated you. I'm sorry, Father. Thank you. I have to go now, Fennel. I can't stay here. Not anymore. Why not? Because I went too far. I'm too dangerous. I'm sorry, but no matter what, I will always love you. You know, I always thought you were a monster, but even monsters have a heart. You just have to know how to use it. What's this? You'll need it to protect your family forever and yourself. Just don't go using any of the stones in a bad way, because then we will have to stop you. Don't worry, I've learned my lessons. Thank you. And you don't have to go. What? You can stay for as long as you want. Be a part of this house, of this community. The toy box isn't just a place. It's us, the people, the toys who make it up. And you're one of them. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Uh, guys, is the player all right? I think he might be. No, don't say it.
Thank goodness. He's alive. Must be unconscious. No, Iron Man. There's been an understanding between us. It's fine. Everything's been sorted out. You gave him the gauntlet back, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes! But listen, he's not the same toy that killed us. He's learned from his mistakes. He won't do it again. You don't know that. Why would you do that? No! You're going to stand in my way? I will stop him, whatever it takes. I'll kill him, even if it means fighting you. Don't do this, Iron Man, please. Clearly, you're not the same toy I knew. After all what he did to us, you weren't there. After you all died, he became even worse. A monster. He nearly killed me, and his own daughter as well. He's different now, Tony. Rubbish. I won't accept this. I've got to go. I can't be a part of this. I'll be back, and I'll get him, whatever it takes. What are you going to do now? Well, I can't go back to being Toybox Master, and William is dead, so it needs someone new. A fresh start, someone with a new leash on life. How about you? Oh, well, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't know how to do it. Oh, it's easy. All you have to do is tell toys off when they go wrong. Make sure everyone's in order. I think it would suit you. You should do it. In fact, I, on behalf of the toy box, designate you, Fennel, Stargirl, to be the new toy box master. Thank you so much. No problem. I remember. I remember everything that happened. The time change, Iron Man, everything, and you. Hello, Toy Box Master. No, please, call me Tom. I'm not the Toy Box Master anymore, and from what I heard, you are. Well, congratulations. And you, Captain. It's an honor to finally meet the toy who saved the Toy Box before me. It's an honor to meet you too. I did give it over to William, but he's dead now. There's no going back anymore. What's done is done. I'm sorry, and so is my father. It's okay. We have to keep moving forwards. 
All I ask is that we honor his memory. Of course, we will celebrate his life. You saved the toy box more than anyone ever could. Good on you, mate. Well, I did not see that coming. What are we gonna do now? Now, we chill. And we stay here, and look out for our fellow toys. And if anyone comes to threaten us, or the toy box again, we'll stop them. Because you know who we are? We're the protectors.
Mad Smith. What are you doing here? I want to make a proposition. The toys have assembled into a team and called themselves the Protectors. What about it? Well, I just wanted to know if you wanted to do the same. What are you suggesting? Well, if you wanted to, we could have a team of our own. What? Just us two? Oh, I have some other candidates in mind. Roar! <sighs>